So we're at the front entrance here and um, it's got some nice uh, landscaping, beautiful bushes, roses, little garden in the background. We'll get to that later. Front door is three steps up. You got a little porch here, with some chairs, very cute. Interior, you come into this wide open space, kind of the formal living room, I su suppose. It's uh, hardwood floors, very nice. To the right is the closet, yes, good size coat closet. Looks like hardwood floors everywhere along the floor here. This is a rambler, of course, so only one story. Um, this is the family room, very nice, good size, gray paint. Kitchen here, see if I can find some lights, there we go. Kitchen here. Um, uh, Beautiful granite counters, small island. Okay, it's got an electric cooktop here on the island. Microwave, these are white, so they'll have to be maybe updated someday. The cabinets are nice, um, shaker style cabinets. Natural wood, pretty wide. Refrigerator, that must be the pantry. Dishwasher. Let's just take a look at the pantry. All right, very good. And here is the dining room corner. Lots of light here, lots of natural light and windows. Got a little couple bar stools here. The bar goes all the way around, so you could easily seat five people there on the bar. Um, let's take a look inside at this little screen porch. This is good. Wood floor, flooring as well. It's all screened in. No air conditioning, of course. And then you got the uh, steps to going down to the yard. This has a very good size yard. So from the kitchen, we're going back out to the front hall and then make a left. And here we have our first bedroom. It's pretty decent size. Everything's painted a nice neutral gray. Looks like... Uh, Standard closet here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good size closet. And then we'll follow the hallway. And here we have the bathroom to the left. Tile floor. Very nice upgraded counters. And the bathroom looks like a plastic tubs around. Very nice and clean. Across from here is the laundry room. Yep. Two washing machines, little shelf. And this must be the garage. Yeah, the garage is nice. Oversized, it's got that extra door here. It gives you a little bit better width. Coming from the laundry room, we have another bedroom on the right. About the same size as the first one. Little closet as well. Over here is the steps to the basement. We'll go there later. Another bedroom. Gosh, a ton of bedrooms in here. Um, very nice as well. They all seem to be pretty much the same size. Maybe 16 by 16. Um, this must be a linen closet here, I'm guessing. Yep. Double-sized linen closet. And here we have the master. Okay. This looks like a queen-size bed. Room is not terribly huge. Got a nice big window, though. Okay, so over here is the master bathroom. It's got the same kind of cabinets and sinks as the other hall bath. Just bigger, lots of space. In between, huge mirror, very nice walk-in shower, neutral tile, nice big shower head. We got the uh, corner tub, no jets though, soaking tub, nice windows above, and then we got the separate toilet here with the door. And there's also a uh, looks like large size linen closet here behind the yep behind the door. Very nice, lots of storage. 
And one thing we missed was the walk-in closet. Let me just show you here. This, this is some kind of stone or resin, but the cabinets are very nice, dark, very nice. Soft clothes. All right, over here is the walk-in closet. Okay, not humongous, but decent size. It's got, it's very efficient. It's got hanging areas on all three sides here. And obviously, well utilized. Here we are in the basement. It does have an outside entrance that goes to, uh, comes out on the right side of the house. Here's the steps coming down from the top. So as soon as you come down, you've got this hallway and then you've got this finished room here. Um, like a nice family room. Somebody likes to play the guitar. Um, this could be a bedroom. It's got a closet in here. Um, yeah, good size closet. Double sided. Huge, in fact. And then over here is what I suspect to be a bathroom. Yes, full bath. Same counters and cabinets as upstairs. Also a nice plastic surround. Very nice. Glass doors come in here. Then as we go back out into the right, this must be another door to the bathroom. Yep. Uh, we have this unfinished space here. Let's see if I can find some light switches. Okay. Nice. Big open space. That's the nice thing about Ramblers. They have huge basements. I live in one myself, so I know. And um, that makes for a very, very large storage space. Looks like back there is the, the well um, pressure tank heater here. This one looks to be just a heat pump, no gas, which is typical for out in the country because they don't have gas here and propane is very expensive. A mana and a um, little workbench built in here. Very nice. Lots of room for storage. Um, here's the outside door, nice double doors. Another thing I want to point out is this um, tankless water heater. These are very efficient. They only heat the water as you need it and it's um, supposed to be very good. So this is the side view of the house here. Plenty of parking in the driveway. There's the entrance to the basement from the side. Then you've got this backyard. It's a little slope down. Not terribly steep, but there is a, definitely a slope here. Um, just enough so that the back of the house is above ground, which is nice. So it's got this wide open grassy area here. And then it has this area that has been partially cleared. And it's got a little fire pit here. And then it goes back out into the woods. How far the property line extends, of course, we don't know unless we see the plat. But it does have plenty of space back here to expand. Um, there's your uh, gas tank for the fireplaces. A fireplace, I didn't... Uh, yeah, it must be for a fireplace. Here's the uh, screened-in porch, and there's a little patio below it. Little seating area here, picnic table. Oh, it's a lizard. And um, over here is their garden. They've got nice, ra nice raised garden beds. Looks like some tomatoes and squash or pumpkins, peppers. All kinds of good stuff here. Even eggplant. And then from here, there's the side of the house. Looks like it only has one AC unit over here. Looks in goose, good shape, fairly new. And then you have this area. It goes fairly steep down the hill here. Um, this little white thing would be the sewer clean out. And then over here, you can see the, uh, the top of the septic tank. So the lot is quite big. We're quite far away back from the street. So you have a little oasis here. Very beautiful. Somebody just came and showed the house after me. Um, they have basically showings back to back today all day long. 
So if you like this one, you probably don't want to hesitate too long. Once again, here's a view from the outside of the house, the garage, the parking area. It is huge. It's a big paved area and then there's still a uh, side of it on gravel that is quite wide. So there's probably parking for at least 10 cars. And then this road goes back to the front road, this driveway. I'll show it to you when I get out. Okay, I'm about to leave and I want to show you the um, driveway that leads to the house because it's quite long. Um, unfortunately, there's some reflection from the front window. So hopefully you can see this. Um, it's, it's paved. On the left, it's a little extra lane for parking. Um, pavement is in good shape. So this appears to be a driveway to the neighbor on the right. And then we'll go up the hill. We work quite a steep downhill. Now we go quite a steep hill up. And this is the main road. It's a very quiet road out in the country anyway, so not much traffic, but here we are.